New River residents weren't the first to leave their homes last night, but some say they didn't need warnings from TV and radio. They move when they hear the river. It's bad, it's bad, it's real bad. More people have moved out here tonight than I've ever seen move out. The danger last night wasn't from being washed away as much as being cut off when the river severed roads. And the now mighty Awa Fria flowing through Black Canyon City forced evacuations too, though some seemed content to stay aboard their homes. I can't believe it's going to get up in there yet. I'm not going to get excited yet. Oh, the wife did. She put stuff up off the floor. Yeah. Well, I got everything up as high as I can get it. <laughs> But transportation officials were concerned when the waves began lapping at the top of the only bridge left standing between Flagstaff and Phoenix. Traffic was hurried across the structure until a warning came that a trailer captured by the current was headed for the bridge. The threat forced everyone to retreat from the crossing, some just in time to rescue their vehicles from the rising river. The bridge was closed immediately. The bridge will be closed until tomorrow morning at least. And while motorists were forced to retreat, another of the routes to the north had also been shut down by Mother Nature. Two mud and rock slides blocked Oak Creek Canyon north of Sedona. Highway crews worked through the night, and by daylight, that route was opened again. Meanwhile, the usually timid Oak Creek had risen 13 feet in Sedona during peak runoff. Some 50 people were evacuated from Riverside communities. But the thundering current, which had forced these people from their homes just the night before, by 7 in the morning, had dropped to only half of the flow it was just a few hours ago. And at first daylight, Black Canyon residents began poking around the remnants of some of their evacuated homes. To some, it was like visiting a place they'd never seen before. I really don't know just how many is back here. I, I don't know whether this trailer came out of that trailer park or whether it was setting here originally, you know. Kind of rearranged the neighborhood. Huh? It sure did. No, it's uh, been bad, but not this bad here. But even before dawn, traffic began to move across the bridge again. Transportation officials say it wasn't that the structure's integrity was ever in question. They just didn't like traffic moving across the bridge when the water was. And while the current continued at a somewhat lower level, the local water company began patching a severed portion of its system, which had left some people waterless during a flood. Randy Ripplinger, Cool News 10.